peeps, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for tuning in. My name is Christina, also known as The Honest Wife, all across my social media accounts. I post twice a week on Mondays and Wednesdays between the hours of 8 a.m. and noon central time. And so if you are new here, then welcome. Please remember to hit that subscribe button before you would leave. I would love to have you a part of my YouTube family. So today's video is going to be a book haul and I love to read and I love to collect books also and I'm trying to establish building my own at home library and so the two major places that I buy um, inexpensive books from are Book Depository and Book Outlet. I am a Book Depository affiliate and that means that if you purchase a book from my link through Book Depository that I will be able to gain a small commission off of that. Just a very small commission, nothing major, but it also helps me to purchase more books and it helps me to put back into my channel to share these videos with you all. And so these books I actually purchased myself. They were not sent to me, but I just love to give full disclosure on my channel because that's what I do. And so I want to share with you guys all these books that I got and I'm so excited. I am a lover of YA, which means young adult novels, and I like to read um, fiction and contemporary books also. Um, I'm not into fantasy or sci-fi or any of that type of thing. Um, and I am also one of those type of readers that I really have to be in the mood to read and I really have to um, have a book that catches my attention within the first three or four chapters. Um, otherwise, then I lose interest and I don't want to read it. So this is called Unrestored Woman by Shoba Rayo. And this is a book about a young um, Palestinian woman who comes to the United States. Um, she was a refugee and she came to the United States for um, a better way of life. And I don't normally read books like this, but this caught my attention when I was looking at it online and I thought it would be something very interesting to read. The next book I have for you guys is The Way I Used to Be by Amber Smith and this is about a young girl who was raped and she just kind of goes into turmoil and she was kind of a goody two shoes and then after that happened to her she just um, is filled with anger and resentment and that type of thing. I don't know much details about this book, but I'm very intrigued and excited to read this. Next up is called Flawed by Cecilia Ahern. And this is a um, young adult novel about a young model girl who is perceived as perfect and her life is perfect, her looks, her body, her image, everything is perfect. And she ends up getting involved with somebody that is very flawed and has a lot of imperfections and she gets caught up in that and she turns into the complete opposite and she ends up getting in all kinds of trouble and things like that. And so I am excited to read this because this sounds like something that's right up my alley. Next up is called Letters to the Lost by Bridget Kemmerer. And this is about a young girl who has lost her mother and the only way that she finds a way to cope is writing these letters to her dead mother. And somebody ends up writing back to her and she doesn't have any idea who it is but she ends up falling in love with that person. And this sounds so exciting and it sounds kind of like a bit of a mystery which is a little bit of both and I like to read those types of books. And this cover is just gorgeous. Gorgeous. I love it and this sounds like it's gonna be a really good book so I'm very excited to read this. Next up this is called Seven Black Diamonds by Melissa Marr 
And I am not sure at all what this book is about, but I judged a book by its cover and I bought it because of the cover because it's just beautiful. Purple is my favorite color. I love the flower on the front. Um, this kind of sounds like a bit of um, like a fantasy and kind of like the older ancient times type of story. Um, I'm not so sure whether or not I'm going to like this, but I'm definitely going to check it out. Next up, this book is called In a Perfect World by Trish Dollar. And look at how beautiful the cover is on this too. And this is about a young girl who goes on vacation with her best friend and her boyfriend and she ends up getting a summer job. We'll come to find out that her mother has taken a job in another country and her mother starts her own business over in another country. So she ends up having to leave and go back with her mother and leave her friends and her family and that type of thing and completely start a whole new life with nothing that she's familiar with and I like these kind of stories because they're some they're all can be really relatable sometimes and so I'm excited to read this next up is kiss Mary kill by Sydney Halston and this book is about a uh, young man who comes back stateside from a tour in Afghanistan and he connects with a former ex-girlfriend who this ex-girlfriend is now like a pop star and she's famous and all of that but he finds out that she's in trouble and he starts his own um, security business with his best friend and so he becomes like his ex-girlfriend who is now famous he becomes her security guard and he finds out that she's in all of this trouble and that she's a total changed woman and that he doesn't really know anything about the girl that he used to be that he was dating before he went to Afghanistan. So this is going to be very interesting. I am very intrigued by this story so I'm excited to read this. It sounds like something I'll really enjoy. I love to read love stories that are you know really kind of based on real life so i'm excited to read this one next up is kind of a beach read and this says the hope chest by viola shipman author of the charm bracelet and this is about a woman and a man who have been married for 50 years and the woman ends up having ALS and she's told that she's not gonna <clears throat> excuse me she's not gonna live very much longer so they go to their beach house and they go on vacation to spend some time together and she finds this old hope chest um, and she's flooded with all these old memories and stuff and she is having a hard time in her marriage because she doesn't want to leave her husband behind and that type of thing and this is definitely real life and this sounds like a very touching story so I am uh, definitely wanting to read this. Next up is called The Sisters of Blue Mountain by Karen Catcher. And this is um, a beach novel as well. I'm not sure what this is about, but I will check it out and let you guys know. The book called Winter Song by S.J. Jones. And what this is supposed to be about is like a labyrinth story and it's like a retelling of the labyrinth movie, I believe. That's what I'm getting and picking up from it so far. Um, and that's all I know about this book as of now. I'm not really into that, but um, I might check it out. I might like this, so I will update you guys on what I think about this. Next up is called Unlocked by Margot Kelly, and this is a book about a girl who, um, she ends up getting in a car wreck and she kills all of her best friends in the car with her and she's the only one that survives. And with all the guilt that she feels, she She's like going like losing her mind and she thinks she's going crazy all these really weird scary um, eerie things keep happening to her and she keeps having these visions and she keeps seeing things and she doesn't know what's real and what's not so that sounds like a bit of um, 
a mystery and I love to read books like this and so I'm excited to read this one. This one definitely caught my attention. Next up I have My Sunshine Away by M. O. Walsh and when you look at the cover of this you wouldn't think that this was a mystery novel or anything like that. This is a story about a young girl um, and the story takes place in Louisiana and the girl ends up being attacked and it becomes a very violent crime and everything starts to unravel and this is right up my alley. I'm probably really gonna like this. I will definitely get into this book. Next up I have The Woman in Cabin 10 by Ruth Ware and this has been circling all around YouTube on booktube on um, Instagram, uh, bookstagram and I have watched a lot of videos about this book, read a lot of reviews. Um, I don't know what to think about it yet, but this book is about a bachelor party gone wrong. And so that really caught my attention. I'm intrigued and I'm excited to read this book because it sounds definitely um, page turning. So I'm excited to check this one out. Leave a comment down below if you guys have read this and let me know um, how you rate this book and what you think about it. Next up I have Conviction by Julia Dahl and this is obviously a crime novel and I have no idea what this book is about. Um, but when, those, when a crime novel grabs my attention within the first few chapters and I get really into it, this sounds really good. So I definitely want to check it out. The last book that I have for you guys is The Mother's Promise by Sally Hempworth. And this is a book about a single mother and her daughter that live in Northern California and her daughter suffers from major social anxiety and her father isn't in the picture and so on and so forth. And I was very intrigued by this book because this is like retelling my life, except for I was a single mother of two boys. So I'm super excited to read that. So that's all that I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It might seem a little boring to some, but those of you out there that do booktube and bookstagram and you love books and you love to read, then you might enjoy this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did so I know to continue doing videos like this for you guys. I know a lot of people who do booktube all across YouTube they often tend to share a lot of the same books over and over and so it becomes redundant. I, on the other hand, do not like to read a lot of the books that the booktubers show. I have my own taste in a completely different genre of books. So if you guys are interested, then continue to check out